ready to roll here in SEC play, and it is Rimdahl that grabs it from Duke. Florida, first possession of the day. Tennessee had a season-high crowd on Sunday in the win over Georgia. Ricards to the bucket and draws a blocking foul. And she misses the first foul shot. Rare for her, a 78% free throw. And she misses both. A rare sight here, and Horston has the board. Well, this is what Florida did so well in the first matchup. Tennessee has had a boatload of starting lineup, six of them, but this is the 11th straight game that this starting group is out there on the floor for Coach Kelly Harper. Darby, she's been on fire in SEC play, averaging over 11 a game. This is the first attempt. Puckett stepping back. Offensive rebounding. That was so critical for Tennessee, the first matchup. Horston has the first points. The Gators are going to have to box out early, get a body on Tennessee. You can't give up second chance opportunities right there. Tennessee had a 18 rebound advantage on the glass in the first meeting. Tennessee had 16 second chance points as well. Rimdahl to the cup and she teardrops one down. Tennessee's going to have to make her drive baseline. Those middle drives, you don't have help sight, so you have to force her to the baseline. Tied at two in the first minute of the game. Puckett steps into a three-pointer. Too strong here. The box out by Rimdahl, and no recycle for the Lady Vols this time around. Rimdahl leaves it for Duke. And Florida has its first lead of the day. Great heads up play by Rimdahl. Being aggressive offensively, drawing that Tennessee defense in and was able to get her teammate open right there. Tennessee has won 23 of the 26 meetings here as Darby misses the three-pointer. Dean's the other way. Gators have the last four points. Duke can shoot it from out there. Instead, she dribble drives, misses the layup, tripling the rebound. Walker, the length of the floor, hangs and puts it in in transition. Rimdahl, all the way to the bucket again. Blue pass, Darby. Rimdahl is playing. They're getting whatever they want offensively early in this game, though. Horston glides in and draws the foul, and she'll have free throws. She said that. So this is a scary proposition. And Florida does figure it out. More than enough talent on this team to get the job done as Horston splits a pair. To Leah Weish hands it off to Rimdahl. Patient this time around from Florida. They've done so much in the dribble drive game. Weiss pops out even though she is a massive height differential. I would love for Weiss to hold that positioning in the post. She could have easily scored like she did right here. She took the ball out a little bit more than she had to. She stayed and held her positioning in the post. She would be able to just easily go up. At a nine inch differential on Powell. Powell is left alone. And she connects from long range. 27% from deep this year, but ties it at eight. Rimdahl will drive to the bucket again. Already hit one of those teardrops and floats this one in. Rimdahl is just getting what she wants right now offensively. Six points. Tennessee has its leading score in the game. There's Rakia Jackson. This is the shot on her first attempt. Florida a chance to extend the margin ahead by two midway through the first. They have that capability, but they like to run their sets. Again, you have a lot of young players, so it's in their best bet to run their plays and do what they're comfortable with. Rashea Kyle gets open underneath the cup, and she banks it in. She's averaging 14 a game since December 18th. Horston settles for a jump shot, and a smooth stroke there by Jordan Horston to trim it to two. When she got the chance to meet her during her recruitment, she was so impressed by her.
And early in this game, Tennessee winners of seven in a row by double figures. They're shooting 19% from the field. And the Lady Vols go here for points. Horston has five, Powell with three, Walker with two. Walker misses that shot and a foul on the putback at the free throw line. Closing in on a thousand career rebound. The free throw stops the bleeding for just a moment. Well, first meeting this season, it was an early five point lead from Florida. Tennessee had a 14 3 run. And the Gators handled this little surge to start the game. Rimdahl, another tough floater, gets her own miss. Each side collecting some of their misses. Got a four second differential shot to game clock. Rimdahl leaves it for Kyle, and she's called for a travel with 8.1 seconds to go in the opening quarter. And they close out the quarter strong. Walker driving to the cup, two seconds, has to hoist it. Powell at the horn, will it count? Doesn't matter, she misses it strong. Tennessee misses its final 11 shots of the quarter from the floor. And it's the Gators on top. Gators lead by just three, though. Puckett pulls the trigger on a jump shot, make it 12 in a row, and a foul whistled. And it's only a three-point game, so imagine if they could finish their bunnies around the basket. It would be a whole different ballgame. Well, Rakia Jackson answers that question. Jackson has been on a torrent. Jackson led the conference in scoring last season when she was with Mississippi State before transferring in late January. Once again, one of the best scorers in the league again. Duke. Kyle. That's an air ball, but it actually works out okay because Warren has the offensive rebound. One on a shot clock. Rimdahl gets it up. And the rebound picked up by Puckett. And Tennessee has a chance for its first lead since the very early going of this game at 4-2. Walker slides to the cup, and it's six in a row by the Lady Vols. But one and four in SEC play right now. For sure. It's hard to get that consistency within your program. It's always switching up. You always are going to have to adjust. Orson. Darby pulls up from deep this time around, and she shreds the strings from deep. Deep shot clock here. Deans jumps around the screen. Pulls up for a three-pointer. This one's wide left. Walker had Jackson for just a moment. Hollingshed throws it up for Jackson in a lot of traffic, forces her way to the cup and puts it down. Great composure by Jackson. Correa just falls down and Horston can glide all the way in for the layup. It's a 13-2 Tennessee run. Tennessee's defense has turned it to a different level. Tatiana White into the game for the first time. Take the jump shot. Left it short. That was a great defensive possession by Jordan Horston. She was trying to, her, her offensive play was trying to get a handoff, but she was just not letting it be easy for her. Holling shed underneath and a 15-2 run. Eight-point differential for the Lady Vols. Deans finally puts an end to it. Shot clock is at 10. Powell. Two on the shot clock. Holling straight wide open. Great work by Powell, the senior in the transfer for a Minnesota. But Dean's right on cue, as you said. That gets her going as she connects from deep. She's one of four from the floor. Jackson, another good catch underneath. Rekia Jackson with six now. Margin to seven. Dean's full throttle the other way. And one. Tough to look at if you've ever had an ankle injury like that. Dean sinks the foul shot. She has eight points in the last 90 seconds. Because of the new rule, back to 20. Tennessee can't play for the final shot. 
Orston. Nice pass underneath. Darby streaks open. Tennessee's made seven of its last nine, and the margin is six. Great pass. Great job by Tess Darby. Seeing that defense collapse in and just cut back door for an open look. Three seconds. Perry pushes it up there. And that's how the half comes to an end. It's a really strong close to the half for Tennessee. Lady Vols started 6 of 30 from the floor. Start of the second half. Rindall had a great start to the game. She's missed her last three. And she starts the second half off strong to cut it to four. Rindall, she's doing such a good job tonight. Taking advantage of what Tennessee is giving her. That Tennessee post player is staying back in the paint. So she's getting open looks. That Tennessee guard has to fight over those screens. Tennessee's first possession of the second half. Down to rhythm at the end of the first. Darby inside of the arc doesn't convert, but Deans commits her second foul of the day. Darby was the first high school signee by Kelly Harper, and she makes the first foul shot. Nearly 8,000 people on average this year. Darby hits a pair. Well, if I was out there, Florida would still be doing their shoot around, and this game would have had to been played. <laughs> <laughs> Deans. Gets all the way to the bucket, puts it in, and one. Again, a player that the Gators need to get going and put points on the board for them. And she sinks the foul shot. She has 11 points after she didn't score until the two-minute mark of the first half. Puckett right corner. As Tennessee looks to extend the lead back, Puckett misses a three. The rebound by Kyle and a chance with a three for Florida to tie the score. Look how aggressive Deans is being right now. Leaves it for Kyle. Misses the layup. Trying to get a foul. Didn't get one. Horston is sprinting the other way. Good pass by Walker. That's the experience of Walker. Made the defense commit to her to leave it off. Those transition points are huge for Tennessee. Gators are going to have to get back in defense. Deans from deep. Doesn't get the shot to go here. One and done for the Gators. They have just four offensive rebounds. Horston uses the size this time around. And another recycle for the Lady Balls. Offensive rebounding has been critical. 11 of them in the game. Pocket underneath for Horston. Horston will pull the trigger and drop it in. Great shot by Horston. That was a mismatch with Rimdahl on her. She has that height advantage. She can easily just shoot over her. Horston, the first lady ball in the double figures. She is 11. A margin to seven. Rimdahl throws it to the seats. So had that guard skills early, had that growth spurt, and then was the McDonald's All-American MVP in 2019. Striplin will step back and connects on a three-pointer. I don't think Striplin realized how open she was. She said, oh, I can knock this down. He just dribbled once and put it up. First double-digit lead of the day for Tennessee. Bucket of steel and a bucket. Nine unanswered for the Lady Vols. I did a lot of homework for this game. I did not do any homework on if you hit a three-pointer in your Tennessee career, did you? <laughs> do you know? I, I did it. I did it. <laughs> but I can knock them down. Striplin and Duke get down after it, and it's Tennessee possession. You didn't make one. I guess you just needed a little further distance. You are probably too close. See, I'm glad you said my senior year because <laughs> my senior year I had the mindset, no regrets. We're taking advantage of every opportunity that we get. Duke gets the steal. Rick Hards to the bucket. I think about 10 minutes of action. She gets a pair here. Some defense for the Gators. Pucket is open. Should have been an offensive rebound. Three balls right there. Weiss comes away with it. Leah Weiss, native of Fort Lauderdale, misses the shot. Had her own miss. They're going to call a jump ball. This time it favors Florida. Florida looking for a run. 
Rimdahl gets open, misses the shot. That was two good looks on that possession for Florida. Kia Jackson sprints front court. She is six. Averages better than 20 per night in the SEC. Striplin left open again. Not right this time. Thought about a three, instead gets to the bucket and Horston swats it out. Following Sunday's game, Candace stopped by the Pat Summit statue with her son, took a photo and posted it to Instagram with the caption, This is legacy, son. We bleed orange. Love hard. Support the ones we love. And always visit home. Guys. Ricards misses the layup. Horston has the rebound. And sprints forward into the front court. Horston to the cup, draws the foul for Tennessee to bring her back to campus whenever she can, and she loves, loves Knoxville. Does such a great job coming back, sharing their wisdom and encouragement. And again, it's just that family atmosphere here. We're always together, and we love when we have, you know, alumni parties and get-togethers. It's, it's just a great time and to just come together. Deans makes the first foul. Second one is in as well. Jackson loves the mid-range. Floats a shot in there. Eight points for Rakia Jackson. She averages nearly a point a minute this season. Rakia Jackson is just a hard player to stop, but that's what we touched on earlier. Florida can't allow those middle drives. You don't have your help side defense there. Deans misses a jumper. Horson, Jackson, one power dribble. Looks like she lost her balance, but Hollingshed cannot put it back in. Had an easy layup. Instead, Correa, she misses the layup. A foul is whistled as Kyle sticks it back in. The Purdue transfer. And a chance to trim the margin down to eight here at the line. And a 66% foul shooter does just that. Tennessee has won seven in a row, all by double figures, and a 6-0 start to SEC play. Horston has already hit one from there in the half. Jackson, an offensive rebound. Puts it back in, plus the harm. It was solid, but it's been much better now that her minutes have gone down a little bit. And that's what Kelly Harper said, quality versus quantity for Jackson. And a foul is whistled underneath as Jackson misses the foul shot. They're going to call the foul, I think, on Warren. Well, that was one of the things that Kelly Harper said as well. Part of the reason why our minutes are down is because the team starts so well in the first half as well as the third quarter. Jackson misses a turnaround shot. Florida dodges a bullet there as Tennessee could have had two possessions in one. Still a 10-point game. Three minutes to go in the third. Deans has carried the load in the last quarter. Good defense from Franklin, forcing the foul, and that's going to be foul shots. They lost their fifth game of the year early this year. Compare that to not till mid-February. Franklin's second shot is in. Florida shooting 34% from the field. Correa can get it going, leads the team in scoring, but misses this on a tough shot. Powell, Walker, got lost in the mix, but Jackson forces it in. A dozen now. For Rikia Jackson. Rimdahl loses the ball and commits the foul. Tennessee really strives on their defense to create great offense for them. Powell glides in. Lady Balls have scored eight in a row. Rimdahl. Another teardrop. That's been her shot in this game. Kyle, an offensive rebound, and sticks it back in. Rare second chance points for Florida. It's all about the response from Florida right now. There's a gap in this game. How are you going to chip it possession by possession? It starts with defense. In the second quarter, Tennessee with a big scoring surge of 15 2. Correa misses wide left. One minute to go in the third, and Tennessee in cruise control. Horston, Powell, puts 
Bates in the layup again. Jasmine Powell getting easy buckets. Tennessee has made four straight shots. And that was an even better find by Jordan Horston. This was a 33-30 game, 90 seconds into the quarter. Since that point, Tennessee outscoring Florida 24-11. Tennessee cannot play for the final shot of the quarter. Leading it by 16. They dominated Florida in the series. 55-5 in the first 60 matchups. Jackson, a rare three-pointer, was feeling it until that miss. Offensive rebound once more for Tennessee. 15 of them in the game. This is the 16 second chance points and a chance to put the punctuation mark on the third. Horston inside looking for Jackson. Good alertness by Tatiana Weiss. Two seconds left. Ricards for three. Doesn't get it to go. And Tennessee dominates the third. They outscore Florida by 10 in the frame. And the Lady Balls lead by 16 going to the fourth. She said looking back on their last three losses, they were outscored in each one in the fourth quarter. So they got to focus up now and get it done in the fourth, guys. Puckett, a three-pointer. Doesn't go down, and a stop for Florida to start off the fourth quarter. And right now it comes down for the Gators. Get a couple stops, try to get this down to a 10-point game in the first couple minutes. See what you can do the rest of the way. Herndahl might have gotten away with a walk. Ray has been quiet as well. And Ricards get going. Now with that shot, and a recycle. They got numbers. Jackson was our already in the front court. Yeah, I wish the Gators took advantage of that possession right there when they had the advantage. And that's been a big reason why they've been efficient overall at times in this game and been able to build up a 16-point lead. And good job by Tennessee to make that adjustment and, and take care of the ball. Jackson, so strong underneath the cards, no answer. <laughs> Five on the shot clock. Deans pulls up for a three. Look good from here, but this is short. Tennessee a chance to get their first 20-point lead of the day. Franklin thinking. Puckett. And you have Jackson and a freshman and Perry guarding her. Jackson comes out to come get it. Jackson gliding to the bucket. Doesn't get it to go. Franklin sticks it back up there, and she's going to the free throw line. She's the type of player you want to lose in. Started her career at Missouri State. 61-41. 20-point lead for the first time in the game. Ricards sticks in the jump shot. That's what they needed earlier in this. Walker, excellent pass for a sprinting bucket. Lady Vols started 6 of 30 from the field. They're 19 of their last 35. Franklin there with another rebound. Four in the game. Darby underneath. Puckett had the last bucket. This time draws a foul. Tennessee has had the answer starting in that second quarter and building up this 20-point lead. It started with their defense. They were able to create that energy, and that led them to transition and getting those easy looks on offense, not getting up with, in, with that intensity and getting into Tennessee and disrupting their offense. Ricard sets the feet and splashes a trifecta. 19-point game as we wind under five to go. Pocket. Franklin, good luck underneath, misses the attempt, gets her own miss, puts it back up. Back here with Cameron Harris, Michael Watring, and our sideline reporter, Sarah Detweiler. Tennessee came in with seven straight wins. And looking to start 7-0 in SEC play for a second straight season. This is more so an off night for them <laughs> rebounding, but they're still doing such a great job. It goes to show the potential that they have on the glass. Lost five games in the first semester for the first time since the 80s. Back in the 80s, they won the SEC championship and went to the Sweet 16. How Kelly feels about her team. She said, I know this team would not respond well to a soft schedule. 
Three minutes to go. Tennessee leading at 67-48. And a turnover. That was obviously a big issue against Ohio State in the season opener. Good growth by this team. As here's a teardrop that's too strong. And last touch by Strickland. Kyle underneath. It's another game where you start well, you have a lead, and can't hold, hold it up for all 40 minutes. You just have to take each quarter as their own. You can't get too far, to, far ahead of yourself. Kyle makes a pair of foul shots. A couple road games in that mix. Ole Miss playing really good basketball at this point in the season. No easy nights in the SEC. And Gators team will fall to 1-5 and five on the year in conference play. A sock drains a trifecta to get it back to 20. This is what you're talking about. Look how deep she is out there. And she can even go further from that. 6-4 and can stroke it. Kyle gets another bucket. She's into double figures for an eighth consecutive game. 11 now. Horston flying in for the layup. Kyle will show the range here on a jump shot and convert 13. Passat from the top of the key. Ups in another jump shot. Perry. Neither, nearly a steal from Tennessee. Lady Falls not taking the foot off the gas defensively. Under a minute to go. Rimdahl puts it in. She's into double figures with 10. Tennessee calls for time to make a sub and Edie Darby. He needs one more shot here down the stretch. Lady Vols will win their eighth consecutive game. It'll be the second year in a row that they start 7-0 in SEC play. Hollingshed. Look at Edie Darby amongst the trees. Passat can't put it away. Good hustle from the rookie Darby. Edie Darby, she's a fan favorite. Anything that she does... Gets a round of applause. Quarter minute to go. Under 10 seconds left. And a steal. Somewhat fitting. 16th turnover of the game for Florida. And Tennessee wins it. 74 56. Improving at 24 3 at home against Florida in the series.